All right, guys. Just want to uh, just want to show you a quick video over here. I'm using JS8 Call. I'm having a conversation with this gentleman here, uh, and that's uh, it's going out right now. I'm actually in my car. There's the radio on the JS8 Call frequency. Here's my little computer. I'm powering it with this battery over here. This was all um, in this Pelican case, so I sort of took it out. It's a little jumbled. And I just have the computer running off of uh, the cigarette lighter here. So again, this is a very quick, impromptu setup. I just grabbed it and stuck it here, and I've got a uh, wireless keyboard. And I also have a mobile APRS, HF APRS. So there's the uh, GPS. And again, I can use, I can send out GPS data through APRS via this little app over here which is a JSA call utilities so you can see it pops up there and I can I can actually send it as a grid square so I can hit get you can automatically send it so there it is enable auto send every 10 minutes etc etc um, but there we go so I just completed my transmission to that uh, guy over there so hopefully he'll get back to me in a few minutes let me just put my keyboard on the radio here and you can hear uh, signals were oh still transmitting okay let me let go of it. What is going on? Why is it? Oh, okay. It's it's almost done. It's sending the last little bit over there. Sorry, I thought it was finished. It's a little slower, but yeah, I'm just out here uh, on the you know on a country road. There we go. Radios come back up. You can hear lots of uh, signals there. I'll just turn that down. We'll wait for him to respond. I'm gonna go outside now, and here's the workman again. This should be threaded backwards through the top and, and into the uh, hatch over there. That's how I do it. this. I, I just literally threw it on the car and I tuned it up quickly. I used uh, my VNA and did that. There it is. Um, for me, honestly, it's not very practical to drive around and I really don't want to be, I'm going to get too many odd looks. Uh, maybe I'll be too embarrassed, but uh, <laughs> it is working uh, and I'm sure 40 would work. Of course, you need a little bit of a better ground plane, but this is actually grounded. I'm not going to touch it, but it is grounded quite well. There's a metal pin in here, and this is touching uh, the roof rack. So it's actually not bad in terms of the total grounding. And of course, you have a capacitive uh, coupling with the, with the vehicle body. And uh, I think, uh, oh, ignore the garbage, but I um, uh, here's the VNA that I used to quickly calibrate it. I'll just uh, turn that off. It actually makes... Um, fine-tuning this uh, pretty easy and of course uh, this is a very robust mount this is just a CB antenna mount it's a CB antenna mount that I just uh, modified to hold the workman antenna and there it is so that's the workman 20 meter antenna the antenna behind is a 2 meter uh, 5 8 whip that actually works incredibly well on 6 I can tune it down to 6 and there we have it so I'm out here on the countryside there's just a a bunch of geese in the field beside me and I sent my APRS location in which popped up no problem and I'm all alone over here and it's a relatively low noise environment and yeah it's working well so I better get back over here and um, see if I got a response I said I was running QRP which I am I'm only running 10 watts today there we go and there's a question so I'm gonna respond to him okay Okay, so I just uh, I just responded to Dave. I had to put the phone down so the video broke. I'm just uh, sending this message over here. That's pretty neat. So you can see it all going out. It's going to be a long message. It is, uh, oh, ooh, we still have three minutes. That's a long key down. Three minute key down, but that's okay. I've done that in the past. We're running low power here, so the radio is pretty cool. Again, it's messy since I... You know, I should have uh, cleaned up all these wires. I was just running out of daylight. I threw it together. I just wanted to test it out. This is certainly not a permanent or proper setup, but again, there's the B-Link computer. There's uh, the receiver for the keyboard. There's a sound card. Uh, I don't like the built-in sound card, so there's a, a this is a $9 uh, USB sound card from Amazon. Works great, no issues. And here's the um, USB splitter, and this is the HDMI cable. This little monitor, this is a standalone monitor which is meant for uh, a video assist terminal. So you use it with uh, a video camera or um, if you're shooting a film, it has a, a battery on the back. Uh, but again, this is 12 volt. The computer itself is 12 volt. That's The computer is running directly off of this SLA battery. Um, this battery is, uh, I believe it's 24 amp hours. Lot. This computer uses basically no power, so this will run a long time. And of course at 12.3 volts, 
I don't want to go below that because then you begin to damage the battery so I'll cut it out before then but again this this could easily since it takes um, 10 to 15 volts this could easily run off of the vehicle this screen over here is like 6 to 20 volts again this can run off of uh, the vehicle no problem and the radio is a mobile radio and this takes uh, anywhere from 11 to about uh, 15 volts so again and I do have it running off of my front cigarette lighter adapter I never use a cigarette lighter adapter I'm not a uh, smoker or anything so that stays there protected and then I, I my properly installed radio is um, the 5100 which is uh, actually the body of the radio sits in the rear that's all connected properly but right now I'm not using it and again this is just the, the HDMI cable in front of it and uh, oh one last thing I'll show you guys I use these little vent clips they're meant for cell phones but if you put the uh, plate on the back I use a little bit of black silicone here to hold the microphone you just stick it on and boom it works great it holds it there and it doesn't unclip or anything and then of course I put my, my actual phone over here and that's also how the ICOM radio head is mounted it, I just put a plate on the back and we just clip it on and that's it it sits there and it's happy so to speak all right um, that's about it for now I'm gonna get back to this QSO I'm talking to Dave over here it's really nice and um, I'm gonna log this contact still got 14 seconds left and then hopefully you'll respond all right thanks for uh, checking out this video hopefully it was a little uh, informative